Hello, my name is Chelsea Fountain, and this is week two of microbiology, my three minute video describing the formation of biofilms, their persistence and in interactions with the host immune system. In this video, I will detail my explanation of how quorum sensi plays a role in the development of biofilms. A biofilm is a thin, slimy film of bacteria that can grow and cling to many different surfaces. Biofilms form when different bacteria stick to the surface of a moist environment and begin to reproduce. Surfaces such as metals, plastic, rocks, teeth, kitchen counters, the walls of a swimming pool are examples of, where, of, of surfaces where biofilms can form. By forming a biofilm, bacteria protect themselves from a host defense. Bacteria inside biofilms are much more resistant to substances that kill bacteria, bacteria, which is a reason for their persistence. There are different ways to, there are different ways that biofilms interact with the host immune system. Um, they are able to avoid immune response by acting as a physical barrier to prevent the detection of bacteria and avoiding cells that ingest and destroy the bacteria. Most importantly, microorganisms, they do have the ability to communicate with each other through the quorum, um, sensing which allows specific processes to be controlled for example, a biofilm formation. So this is kind of explaining the explanation of how the quorum sensing plays a role in a different development of the biofilms because the or microorganisms can have the ability to communicate with each other through these, through the quorum, um, which allows the processes to be controlled. Methods used for controlling medical biofilms are antibiotics and disinfectants. Um, disinfectants are items that are used to kill um, bacteria that is on the surface, and your antibiotics are some type of drug or um, solution or that, that is used to kill whatever um, bacteria can in, inject or um, anything that can cause harm and trying to fight off and protect against what has formed on the surface. So these methods used for controlling the microbiofilms are antibiotics um, and disinfectants. Is, um, examples of disinfectants that we all know is Clorox, Lysol, most importantly, we've been going through a pandemic, which we're still in, and we have been using tons of disinfectants and antibiotics, um, especially in medical fields, to, um, to fight off and protect against, the infect, uh, protect against the infection. So traditionally, antibiotics are commonly used along with antibacterial agents and cleaning practices which an automatic scrubber or high pressure clean, cleaning device. Um, another disinfectant that is really popular right now, especially in the medical field, is the UV light because that is used to try to block off anything that has been um, attached to the surface in a moist environment to try to clean um, what has been infected. So. These are some important strategies for controlling medical biofilms. Um, I use them every day. I see antibiotics being used every day to fight off infections. And so this kind, this will um, explain what I feel is the formation of biofilms, their persistence and the interaction with the host immune system. Um, my references for this is resources are Byers 2008, Micro Medical Biofilms, Biotechnology and Bioengineering, and also LEAD 2000, or LED 2009, Bacterial Biofilms Resist Key Host Defenses. Thank you so much.